<laughs> hey everyone, I just spent days making the coolest clock in the world. There are 360 0603 surface mount LEDs individually soldered to the front of this thing and a bunch of surface mount components. What do you think of my clock, honey? It's very cool. <laughs> Ooh, such a big clock. <laughs> Yeah. Give it back. Sunglasses, <laughs> you're too bright. Is a clock with a whole load of LEDs on the front of it, some 360. So I'm going to need a bit of patience to be able to put this together, but, um, but it's good fun anyway. Don't forget, here is the TS100 now, um, as off grid, solar powered uh, soldering iron. Uh, doing all of its wonderful goodness. So we've got a whole bunch of chips on here, um, some of which I've already soldered up. This bad boy here I've just placed uh, and need to finish the soldering on that guy. Um, so yeah, uh, there's a battery here, some switches, uh, some connectors, and, um, and on the other side, oh, oh, oh my goodness, there's shed, shed loads of LEDs that need wiring up. So all of that said, uh, best get on with it then. And the iron is set to 330 degrees and I have my little fine solder in place. So. So, first one up there. Right. Good lord, made a mess of that one, didn't I? Oh, hopefully the next one will go down a bit better. Okay, most of the components have been fitted now. Um, so, uh, I, I got an instruction manual with this. Here it is. I don't understand a word of it. I do understand the component descriptions. And it says R1, R2 and R3 are 10K. Yeah, found them. R4 to R35 are 470K. Sorry, 470 ohms. Um, so those will be the drop-down resistors for the uh, for the LEDs. Weirdly, um, there's more than that. There's R9 to R28. Um, I'm not I'm not finding R4 anywhere. Crikey peeps, there it is. So uh, let's just zoom you in a little bit here, and you can see my terrific soldering work. Uh, so up here then we've got a temperature sensor, we've got a USB port, uh, a light dependent resistor, um, a whole load of dropper, uh, dropper resistors. These are to change from 5 volts to whatever, 3 volts, 2 volts, whatever it is, you know, 1 point something volts that are driving the LEDs. Um, then we have a whole bunch of uh, semiconductor type chipperoonies on board. And a very noisy car driving past. This here is a real-time clock with um, uh, with a uh, with a crystal, um, and there's a battery that goes in here that uh, keeps everything in time. And then we've got a couple of push buttons on the front. So, what's left to do? <laughs> yeah, well, we've got all of these LEDs to solder up. That's what's left to do. Oh my goodness, what a nightmare. Okay, so um, because Mrs. Dubious uh, does understand Chinese, but doesn't understand electronics very well, uh, what I decided to do was um, I go ahead and solder in two of these LEDs on the, uh, what I believe are probably the, um, the dots on the clock display. And uh, this one at the bottom here lit up when I plugged in the power supply. So I'm guessing that this one is the correct way around and this one is the wrong way around. So I'm going to go ahead and commit to soldering all of the LEDs in this orientation. First things first, take that one off and swap it around. <laughs> Alright. Well, tell you, that's it, I've gone cross-eyed. This is quite something else. Um, 
So those are the those are the tweezers. And uh, yeah, okay, it doesn't look pretty at the moment. But my goodness, this thing works. Well, I've um, <laughs> I've soldered up the one number. Plenty more to do. I'm certainly honing my uh, honing my skills with the TS100 soldering iron here. Okay, I want to put a few of these uh, put a few of these LEDs down for you. So um, right, firing up the iron. Go 3:30, and uh, so a pair of tweezers is um, essential. And what I'm going to do is um, peel away the tape uh, from here, drop a few of these LEDs onto the PCB, um, and then position them. But before all of that, I'm going to tin the pads here, uh, and I have noticed that. Um, that works an awful lot better if you've got just a little bit of um, just a little bit of flux. So we'll put a that's a pen pen flux. Putting a little bit of flux down. All right, zoom you in and see how we do. Unbelievable. I've finished it. I've made it. Look at that. Awesome. So, uh, hold on, let me just turn off some lighting. There we go. Absolutely fantastic. Turn off more lighting. Hang on. Do, do, do. Look at that. Brilliant. So, there it is. Finally done. The most awesome clock ever. We'll go over the circuit in a moment. But. I'm super happy to say that I finished it and I'm also super happy to say that they gave me a few extra surface mount LEDs because uh, I did lose a few, I did break a few and reverse polarize a few and all sorts of stuff. But the fantastic news is that it's finished. Now what we've got to do, uh, probably should put some lighting back on, do, do, do. solar powered shed lighting, yay! And now what we've got to do is uh, make the case for it. And okay, talking of testing, so there's a little button on the side here, which when you press it, it lights all of the LEDs and then that runs through a nice little pattern so you can uh, see uh, if there are any, any see if there are any LEDs that are out. And um, yeah, it's sort of interesting to watch maybe. Uh, probably needs music and probably needs something going on but yeah um, <laughs> okay it's time to build the case and yeah it's lots of lovely little bits of perspex like this uh, all come with a protective film on them we've got a whole bag of screws and various bits so uh, here we go high speed mode Boom. 